Mr. Chairman, I'm going to begin by seeking unanimous consent to enter into the record a press release from last year from the Department of Defense entitled, the Department of Defense announces recruiting and retention numbers for fiscal year 2022 through March of 2022, and it reads, overall, it is clear the broader recruiting market continues to deteriorate and recruiting shortfalls can no longer be solely attributed to COVID-19. Without objection. So we just heard from Secretary Austin moments ago that COVID was the driving headwind. That was the headwind was the term he used in these recruiting challenges that trouble us all. But the department is saying that it's not COVID. So I guess I'm just trying to figure out what do you guys think is the driving factor of the recruiting collapse that we are currently overseeing? Any, any of you who are particularly interested? Representative Gates, that's a great question. And what we are seeing is that it's not just one factor. It is a variety of factors when we look at obesity, physical fitness, misconduct, behavioral health challenges, a knowledge gap of what we saw from our data was that uh, individuals that we surveyed identified that they would be potentially putting their life on hold if they serve. So not attributable to one single factor, but a multitude. I, I agree with that. We've got a younger generation that's too dumb, fat, slow, addicted, and on video games to be eligible to serve in the military. And it's really troubling to hear that the response is to thin the soup rather than to do what we can earlier on, maybe through our education system or our nutrition programs, whole of government to try to get a greater share of our folks capable. Do you, does anyone here attribute any of the recruiting challenges we face to the new DEI push? And any of you, raise your hand if you do. None of you. Well, I, I would suggest that that is misguided. I have heard directly from people that this, uh, this embrace of DEI and white fragility and white rage harms our recruiting effort in the area of the country where we do our best recruiting in the American South. Uh, I have a qu additional questions for you, General Miller. How many Republicans running for Congress had their personnel records unlawfully compromised by the United States Air Force? Uh, thank you for that question. So we did have a PII breach, um, 11 individuals overall. Uh, their data was um, released. Um, well, you say breach. When I hear breach, what I hear is that like someone hacked or broke in or got the information. You gave this information. Yes, we did. No, right. the Air Force so it wasn't takes, a breach. It was an illegal release. It was a yes. It was right. You're right. We take full responsibility for that. 11. 11. Yes. And all Republicans, right? Um, I don't know the answer to that. I know some of them were, but I think that... But if I represent to you that, that, that it's all or almost all Republicans... Almost all Republicans, that's correct, yes. And it, this information was given to the due diligence entity, right? There was a, there were there was an entity, yes. It was yeah, and it's an opposition entity. research entity that gets hundreds of thousands of dollars from the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee and the Democratic Senatorial uh, Campaign Apparatus, right? Um, I don't know that much about due diligence, but there's. I know that we um, released the information Why? inappropriately. Why did you do that? Um, it was a, you know, it was an error. We did an investigation as soon as we found out. We notified all of the members um, in which their data was um, released. Uh, we have put in place uh, multiple layers of. Uh, checks and balances. We did a retraining. Who's been fired for doing this? Um, we have taken the appropriate action. Okay. Who's been fired? We, we've taken the appropriate action. I, it's a that. fascinating answer, just not to my question. Who's been fired? I, I can't answer has, that. Has a single person been fired? I do not know the answer to that. Shouldn't we you, though? I mean, here we are having recruiting challenges. You guys are releasing personnel information of predominantly Republicans to a Democrat opposition research firm. You run personnel for the United States Air Force, and you can't tell me whether anyone has been fired for this unauthorized release? Congressman, I can tell you that we have taken the appropriate action. Well, but, 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 but you the deem it appropriate. But what if we don't? Because we have civilian control of the military. Mm -hmm. We may have to change our laws to hold people accountable. And pardon me for not trusting your vague reference to the layers that you've put on, but Mr. Chairman, I, I request that this committee 
get specific answers for what the accountability regime was for this unlawful action by the United States Air Force, and that we not take as an article of faith the representation that they think they've taken the appropriate action. They've taken the illegal, inappropriate action to compromise these records, and I think we should hold them accountable for it. Um, on that note, General Miller, for, for the record, can you submit to the committee what those appropriate yes, actions were? Yes, we certainly may. Okay, I yield five minutes to Representative Houlihan. Thank you uh, very much for your testimony today. I am going to try a, an 